Science, the human mind, video games. Ever since the dawn of the 21st century, the line between technology and biology has become increasingly blurred. Mankind's understanding of science has led us to new heights, to cure disease, but can it help conquer man's timeless foe, fear? Famously dubbed the mind killer by the guy who wrote Dune, fear has been a part of human history longer than Groupon and the minions combined. But what is fear? What makes us afraid? I'm Dr. Judge Reinhold, and in an effort to measure the effects of fear, I have enlisted my good friend, Diaper Chris, to wear a Fitbit while he plays various horror games in an effort to more closely ascertain what fear is. Tom's here too. Join us, won't you, on this amazing journey of scientific discovery. I'm Dr. Judge Reinhold. I'm Major Tom. And I'm Diaper Chris. And we're back with Experiment 001, My Bones. And before we get started today, I need to get some baselines from you, Diaper, to, to, to see how the beats per minute correlate with your mood. So I'm going to show you a series of pictures, and then you're going to, you know, you're going to look at them, and then you're going to let me know if it makes you mad or happy or, or calm. Okay. Yeah. Only those three things I could say, or can I well, say? Well, you can say whatever you want. You okay. can say whatever you want. So let's get started. Uh, here comes picture one. Oh, puppies. That make me happy. Ugh. I hate the minions so much. I'm tired of them and, and and their memes. Love this guy. Can't get enough of him. He's gonna make America great again, and that's why I'm voting for him. I mean, it says it right on his hat. We're gonna make LPs great again. <laughs> that's one of our mottos. Right, Tom? Exactly. I'm also gonna go to the fair and get a bunch of fried food while we play this. <laughs> You want your heart rate to go up as well. Yeah. <laughs> I want to die during <laughs> this LP. Now, this is my bones. Can you give me a little bit of a sink there? Okay, yeah. Uh, up. Okay, down. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> That'll do it. <laughs> it judges heart rates through the roof. Oh, no, it's fine. It's fine. This is, this is for the good of science and society. And this is my bones. Now, is this going to be a scary game? Now, these are all going to be horror games in some fashion. Now, now, uh, can you tell me what My Bones is about before we start, or is it better to just let things unfold? I think we should just let things unfold. That way we can have a good control group here. Okay. Is it My Bones, like, like My Bones, or is it My Bones, like Your Bones? It's My Bones, like My Bones. I thought that was pretty well established ah, good. at this point, but... Whose Bones? My Bones. So your bones. No. He's on second. <laughs> this is like a beautiful poem. Yeah. <laughs> he was attacked by such strong anger. Why doesn't he capitalize any of the eyes? It's to show that he's humble. Oh. That was before the mishap, though. Oh my god. No, I don't feel too nervous yet. Yes, you're at 74. No, wait, no, 72. Yep, 71. Okay. I think you're going into hypothermia. <laughs> <laughs> that's because I'm in a crypt. It's cold down here. <laughs> oh, those are your bones. Yeah. No. <laughs> I think by the end of this whole thing, we're going to know whose bones they are for sure. That okay. much we know, right, Tom? <laughs> that's right. Oh, whoa. Okay. Oh, oh. You wake up in a coffin. Okay, it wasn't a crypt. 
No, oh, this is the tomb of your wife. Your wife, she is dead. Oh. <laughs> Come on, let's try to read that. I need the X. <laughs> you can't get it, I guess. Hmm. Oh, hold on. All right. Uh, I did not expect that he will go crazy and kill me. <laughs> well, Wait. You know, marriage is just full of surprises. <laughs> So she wrote this, huh? She chiseled it into the wall before she died. With her typewriter. <laughs> That's right. Hmm. Love is strange. I believe you could use the flashlight with F. There you oh, go. There, there. Now is there a run key? I believe there is. I believe it's shift, Mr. Speedrunner. Careful, you don't want your heart rate to get too up. Nope. Hmm. Why did you kill me? <laughs> Nope. Oh, that was your son's car keys, I guess. <laughs> I told him to bring it back in one piece. <laughs> oh, okay, that's using the old noodle. Cemetery, here we come. Oh my god. It's all the sound effects this guy could find for free. Okay, this is probably the tomb of my cousin here. Your firstborn! Oh, okay. He couldn't write yet, he wasn't... <laughs> it's pretty not a script. <laughs> he forgot his chisel before he died. Apparently this is in uh, New Orleans, too, because of all the mausoleums. Mm -hmm. It's because it floods. Yeah, they, they gotta build the, them above ground. Oh, what was that? Nope. We have more keys. This is a key-based culture, much like the Egyptians buried their pharaohs. <laughs> that guy. This poor guy. <laughs> That's gotta hurt. He said, my bones. <laughs> I assume that's what everyone says in this game at all times. I'm still not sure what bones they're referring to when they say it, but it's okay. This is my bones. I want- you know what, I should just go in the door. This door is broken. It's oh, also I a solid black <laughs> texture. I thought it was- It also <laughs> absorbs all light around it. <laughs> that's why it's broken. I thought it was- screen was loading. <laughs> <laughs> this door refuses to emit photons. Okay, we could probably get in this way. This is the most high resolution. What? <laughs> yeah, you're loading. My bones. My bones are loading now, so feast your eyes on these bones. Alright, so far you don't seem to be particularly spooked. But me drawing attention to that seems to have raised your heart rate. <laughs> <laughs> it probably goes up the more you yell at me. Okay. I'm, I'm just guessing. Where I am? Great question. <laughs> Don't we all want to know that? Seems very existential. What, what, what was that? Did you knock down a mop behind the door? Oh, wait, there was a... Oh, I know where I am. I'm in a janitor closet. There's, There's a... mops. Oh, okay. Yeah, order to the keeper. Do it. Uh, one hamburger, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is like a tower defense game now. Okay. With ministers. <laughs> hmm. Well, don't forget your flashlight. Oh, yeah. They turned it off on me. Oh, nope. Let me in. I want to see that person in a birdcage. I want to talk to them. The emaciated go-go dancer. <laughs> Does that person have a tattoo on their back? You know, like, like Steve-O? A face? <laughs> I'm not sure what you're saying, but yes. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, the arrow is pointing this way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Use your environment to deduce the solution. Oh, we don't have a key. Maybe there's a key over here. Yeah, perhaps there was a warehouse at some point. Oh, there it is! Good sleuthing. I hope they reveal more about this warehouse. I still don't understand how this ties into the TV show, Bones. This is a spinoff. 
Is Bones the TV show? Is that a, is the main character a man or a woman? That's an honest question. It's just a cackling skeleton. <laughs> <laughs> Now, I actually know this because the the woman has a name, but the man always calls her Bones. Oh! But she also studies Bones. That's good. So they say Bones a lot on Bones, like a lot, a lot. Also, oh. they order chicken a lot. Hold on, I have to turn off the flash on my camera. Oh, okay. Hmm. I'll see about that. Which path, this one or this one? Who's Bones? finally see that person in the cage. Oh my. <laughs> what the this heck is going on? This here? does not look on the up and up. No, sir. Look at this. For God's sake, this man's hanging upside down. <laughs> Get down from there. Buddy, put some clothes on. There's kids watching. <laughs> I feel like something's chasing me. Oh, here it is. Let's get a look at that tattoo. Hi, sha 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 sha. Listen, I'm spooked. <laughs> yeah, Chris is apparently calmer than ever. Cool as a cucumber. Yeah, this place is wild. Well, the arrow's pointing me back this way, so I guess let's go back. Now uh, I gotta find another key. Another one? It's probably on a shelf of sorts. That's where I usually keep my keys. I don't know about you. I keep them in a bowl. Right near the door. So I know where they are. It's not true. You're lying to the folks. Oh, you okay. have a key hook. Oh. Well, oh my gosh. Oh, he left. Was that a... That was kind of scary. I don't think we can go through this way. I think Chris did get a little spooked. I'm looking at the metrics here. <laughs> <laughs> he, we... he was scared of the, the gremlin that was terrorizing <laughs> uh, William Shatner on the side of the plane. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what that was, yeah. Oh, you can't get in there? Is there more people hanging out here than before, or is it just me? Eh. Cool party, huh? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> There's gotta be keys somewhere over here. Check hmm. his pockets. Well, we should antique this guy. Check the pockets of his jean shorts. What do you mean antique this guy? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> Tom, explain to explain to the judge what the antiquing process involves. So when you antique someone, you, 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 you wait till they're sleeping, and then you, because you're a you're a jerk, you grab a big handful of flour and you throw it in their face. How is that antiques related? Well, we kind of look like an antique from the uh, the road show. Well, you look, you end up looking, <laughs> yeah, yeah. you end up looking like a spooky ghost. Yeah, yeah. and uh, spooky ghosts are old, and so are antiques. Yeah. Oh, I thought you like lampooned them and then like undervalued them. You're like, oh, how much do you think this man with flour on his face is worth? Like, well, he came from my grandpa. He's kind of in the attic. It's like, I'm sorry, he's worth twenty dollars. He's a forgery. Yep. Oh, oh, choose evil. And this is like this is like that true detective. <laughs> I don't like it one bit. This is David Lynch's My Bones. <laughs> <laughs> Which We're one going, did you choose? I think I'm going inside the woman. I didn't mean it to be so crass. My bones, more like my loads. <laughs> oh, we're back in the grave. <laughs> Oh, thank God, you got a second chance, Chris. A second chance at what? <laughs> Life? Uh... Mowing the lawn, I guess. <laughs> Look at this place. It is in dire shape. Oh, oh wait. Oh, thank God he found it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now that we're done with that brain buster. <laughs> oh, no, it's still locked. Oh, okay. There it goes. Well, you figured it out. He's right. Good becomes bad, and the I'm bad gonna is. I'm going to sew that into a pillow. <laughs> <laughs> I 
It was a story of redemption. Oh. <laughs> He's going to become good, which becomes bad, and bad is good. <laughs> I thought greed was good. So now you're saying bad you, is good? Is bad greed? Would you say he's breaking bad? No. Oh. Okay, then. So, whose bones were they? Oh, is we still playing? All right. Wait, oh. oh. Okay, continue. Okay. You sure? <laughs> Maybe it'll tell us whose bones. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Wait, All right. Go to about. What does about say? Does it say anything about the bones? <laughs> no. Was oh. did. <laughs> you can't make fun of that, Tom. Huh? <laughs> I didn't know what that was. That is too irreverent. All right. Well, that was my bones. Wow. Available now on Steam.